we have a 5,200 square kilometer area stretching from here and north almost to the tip of Sweden, uh, where Sweden, Norway and Finland uh, emer emerged, so to say. And that area is totally uninhabited. And the only thing you're allowed to do is actually what we do. We launch rockets into the area. There's a need for a lot of more satellites being up in the air due to the fact that you need more and more data. Europe doesn't have a launch base in continental Europe. The only place that Europe launched from is from South America from Kourou, the French base there. So now there's a lot of sites popping up or trying to, to come up. We have Norway, which has their base. You're on the one side, to make it simple, you have a race towards the moon, which is something we've seen also in a different context in the 1960s. And on the other side, uh, you see, and that is maybe the biggest change of recent times, space for security and defense. And this is certainly the context in which all European action has to be seen. It's, it's important to society because we all need data. All those apps and all, all those applications that need data as a base. So there's a huge growing need for more satellites in orbit. We will go from 8,000 to 55,000 satellites until 2030. So that is a booming market or, or business opportunity. And we want to be in there.